Hello and welcome back to the Minnesota Vikings franchise. Right now the Vikings are 6-5 and five, and of course they're on a 5 game losing streak. Now the thing about this losing streak that's very intriguing is that the offense has struggled so much. They have not scored more than 20 points over the course of their last 5 games and it's allowed Detroit to jump them in the standings after Minnesota got out to a 6-0 or a 6-0 start to the year. So now the Vikings, they play a struggling New York Giants team who are 3-8 in an attempt to go ahead and get their 7th win on the season. Adrian Peterson, Jamez Logan, Larry Fitzgerald, it's their job today to help Christian Ponder finally get this team on track because they cannot stand to lose more games in a row. We head on down to the Metrodome and the Giants are on offense in the first quarter. The first possession of the game, Lamar Miller gets the opening handoff. And now second down and five for Eli Manning. Drops back to throw, fires over the middle, and it's intercepted by Chad Greenway. He's going to cut to the left, break a tackle at the 30 and head to the 20-10. And Minnesota is on the board here in the first quarter. An early start for the Vikings today as they get a defensive touchdown on the second play of scrimmage. And now it's 7-0 Minnesota. Minnesota, what a way to begin the afternoon. Chad Greenway had a pick last week, I believe, as well. And so it's great for the Vikings to get a start. And, of course, they have not scored more than 20 points in the last five games. And then Keystan Terry almost goes ahead and turns the ball back over for the Vikings. So now, on offense for the first time, Christian Ponder back to throw, scrambling out of the pocket. It's been trouble lately for Christian Ponder. Unable to get very many scores on the board. And just overall, the offense has struggled. And the, they shouldn't. They're too talented to struggle as much as they had. And out of third and Five, Ponder out of the backfield, he finds Rudolph in the flats, he goes up and gets seven yards, and a Vikings first down. It's now second down and eight, Ponder in the pocket, and he's going to throw over the middle, and he threw it too late to Jamez Logan, it's picked off at the 25-yard line, and the Giants will take possession. After once again, the Vikings offense shoots themselves in the foot. They do it one way or another. It's third and seven. Eli Manning leads Hakeem Nix to the sideline. Nice play by Nix to stay in bounds. And now the Giants find themselves in Vikings territory on third down and short. Handoff out of the backfield to Woodyard. He's up the middle. A big gain up the middle. And he's got about 15 yards in the carry. And the Giants have a first down inside the Vikings 30-yard line. Manning back to pass again. No pressure. Lobs it right side. It's caught by Jarrell Jernigan. DJ Green with very poor coverage on the play. It's 27 yards ahead to the 3-yard line. And now Manning. Single back. Handoff. Lamar Miller off tackle. Touchdown Giants as they tie the game up. Rebound after Eli's pick 6. Let's take a look at the injury report again. Vikings without two of their key players on defense. TJ Stripling and Sharice Wright. But compared to a few weeks ago, the team is healthy again with a lot of their defensive starters back in the lineup. And Ponder not forcing the ball downfield, going to take off and run for 15 yards close to midfield. And now Fitzgerald in motion, and Ponder takes a snap from under center and drops back to throw. Throws right side to Rudolph. He catches it at the 30-yard line, or inside the 30, that is. And he's down to the 26. Great throw by Ponder, now at the 15. Ponder to throw again out of the shotgun. He's going to roll out to his right and look downfield, making a decision at the last second. Finds Harrison inside the 5, and he is down at the 4. Nice play by Ponder. And third down and goal, Ponder play action to Peterson, rolls out to his right, flag down, passing complete, and the flag is holding on the Vikings, the Giants will decline and force the Vikings to kick a field goal, but they still take the lead 10-7, and the next drive begins for Manning with him on his back as big Phil Taylor comes in and puts him down for a loss of eight, it's now third down and long for Eli Manning, pass over the middle is caught by Rucker, and the ball is out, it is stripped, but it's recovered by the New York Giants and they keep possession, but they end up punting the ball anyway. So the Vikings have it. Adrian Peterson off tackle. He crosses midfield and is down after a gain of 10. AP is tired of this five-game losing streak. And now Ponder off of the play action. In the pocket, lobs it right side. What a throw to Jamez Logan. Perfect touch. And Ponder has Logan for 19 yards inside the 30-yard line. And then draw play. Peterson up the middle. Another big gain for AP. 15 yards. He's at 9 carries and 50 yards on the day. But third down and goal from the 15-yard line after a penalty. Christian Ponder in the pocket. Doesn't know what he wants to do, really. There's nothing downfield open. So he scrambles out of the pocket now and is just going to throw it away. And so the Vikings tack on a field goal. It is 13-7 with three minutes to go in the first half. Eli Manning out of the shotgun fakes. Hand after Miller. And he fumbles the ball. He was hit on the play by Vontez. Perfect. And he ends up losing a few yards after the fumble was recovered again by the Giants. And that brings up a third down and 
and 11 now for Eli Manning over the middle. And it's nearly picked off again by Chad Greenway. May have had another pick six in the making, but it's still Vikings football. Christian Ponder looking for Kyle Rudolph underneath. He gets about eight yards on this catch towards midfield. As the Vikings look to head once again in the Giants' territory, second and three, AP up the gut, and there he goes again. Big chunks for Adrian Peterson up to the 37-yard line, and the Vikings have the ball within 40 seconds to go in the first half. Third down and seven for Ponder. Pass to Logan is incomplete. He had the first down but couldn't hang on over the middle. And so Janikowski makes it 16 to 7, and you wonder if these field goals are going to end up hurting the Vikings later on. It's only 16 to 7, a nine-point lead. We are in the third quarter, and Ponder begins with an interception to Nate Fellner, trying to fit it into a window that was far too small, and just made a tough decision to throw it to Jamez Logan on that play. So Eli Manning back on offense. This is the opportunity for the Giants to get back in this game and to make the Vikings pay for taking field goals. And with this catch by Hakeem Nix, they're inside the 20-yard line in the red zone. 14-yard line, Eli Manning, quick pass left side, caught Nix inside the 5 and down at the 2-yard line. And the Giants are threatening on first down and goal. Single back from the backfield is Lamar Miller, handoff of the gut. He has a touchdown for the Giants as he jumps into the end zone at 16-14. We have a ball game here in the Metrodome. And Ponder back on offense, taken off now, looking to scramble ahead. He gets about 10 yards as he's got 38 rushing yards on the day, and of course is pretty effective outside of the pocket. Second and 10, handoff, AP off tackle, look at the downfield blocking, across the 40, turn in the corner, and Adrian Peterson says, see ya, I'm going to the end zone, touchdown Vikings. And for the first time in over a month and a half, the Vikings have more than 20 points on the scoreboard, thanks to a long touchdown run by the great Adrian Peterson. As we come too close to the end of the third quarter, Eli Manning, though, trying to lead his team back down the field. Hakeem Nix makes another grab for a first down, and that will take us to the fourth quarter. 23-14 Minnesota. Manning on third and four. Wants the quick pass on the slant. It's picked off by Jamel Fleming at the 45 going upfield. And Fleming at the 20. And no one's going to catch him. Jamel Fleming pick six. Eli's second touchdown pass to the Minnesota Vikings today. It's now 29-14 after a failed two-point conversion. And the Giants have dug themselves a hole with Eli's second pick six in the afternoon. And now a holding penalty will back him up even further to make it third down and 20. And Manning is going to throw to the sideline well out of bounds. Where was he going there? We are not sure at the moment. And the Giants punch and they'll have to trust their defense to get them back the football. And they have to trust Eli Manning's arm in the fourth quarter. And so the 15-point lead, the Vikings go back to work. Larry Fitzgerald, first catch of the day. He's got nine yards over the middle. Third and two, Ponder will throw instead of handing the ball off. And he's going to take off, head to the first down marker. No, he stopped. And maybe he just wanted to throw it quickly. But Chris Canty caught him, and so Giants have the ball. Now they have a chance with six minutes to go. It's not over by any means. Eli Manning in the pocket, dancing over the middle. He's got Jarrell Jernigan for a first down of the Vikings, 34-yard line. A gain of about 15 yards, and now they find themselves at the 20. Manning back to throw again. Lobs it to the outside. It's caught by Bulls, and he's got a first down inside the 10-yard line. And that was a dangerous throw by Manning, but luckily his tight end was the only one that saw the ball. Second and goal, pitch out to Lamar Miller, and the running game has not been very effective today for the Giants. Vikings all over it, and it's causing third down and goal. Man in motion, Manning back to pass. Back to throw in the pocket over the middle. It's incomplete, though, forced fourth down and goal, and the Giants really have to get something going now. Fourth down and goal from the seven. Manning split back, shotgun. He's got two backs next to him and takes a snap. Fires to the end zone. It's picked off by Jamel Fleming. Out of the end zone he goes. Up past the 20-yard line. Sprinting past the 30 and taken down by Manning at the 36. I've never seen Eli run so fast in my life. But it's 29-14 now. Vikings on offense. Christian Ponder. And wait a minute here. Taking a shot downfield for Logan. And wow, that caught the Giants off guard but it was overthrown by Ponder, which is usually not the case. It's usually more underthrown. Now handoff to Adrian Peterson up the right side. He's got a first down as the Vikings look to kill the rest of the clock and get a victory today. One minute, 54 seconds to go. Christian Ponder, he's going to throw, and he's going to throw it as far as he can. Larry Fitz, he caught it. Oh, my God. Larry Fitzgerald for the touchdown. The Vikings 
put the dagger in the New York Giants with a 42-yard touchdown strike. Just lob it to the end zone. Larry makes the play. That's why we traded for you last year, Larry Fitzgerald. The Vikings are going to win this game, and they do. And they move to 7-5 and five on the season. A rebound finally after a tough stretch of games. Five straight losses, but the Lions are still the top team in the NFL. The Vikings, though, they're in a good spot at 7-5. and five. There is still a lot of competition for the wild card spots and still a lot of football left to be played at least. And next up, we have a showdown between the Minnesota Vikings and the New Orleans Saints. Both teams are 7-5 and five in the thick of the NFC playoff race. Should be a good one. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like rating as well as a comment in the comment section below. Helps me out a lot, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.